Hey, it's Activate Running Coaching time. Um, today I want to teach you about a knot called the runner's knot. Now I've got here a shoe. Uh, it's a um, Brooks Asteria. It's a racing shoe. And here I have um, the lacing without a runner's knot. And as you can see, it's just the regular lacing. And at the bottom there, you can see I've neglected to put the lace through that last eyelet hole. And um, a few years ago, I discovered the reason why that hole is there. And that is through a, a, a lacing technique called the runner's knot, you can um, cinch your, the top part of your foot down and bring the back part of your foot closer to you, slightly closer to the to that part, which allows less slippage through the heel, which is pretty important when you're trying to run, that your heel doesn't sort of slip up and down. Right, okay, so here is a shoe with the runner's knot in place. So let's have a close look at this and see how we do it. Now I'm going to take that out and that out and this out here and we'll see what needs to be done to create this knot. Right, so there you go. There's the shoe. Um, where the uh, lace is through the second last knot. Let's put it back through and in, in towards the center of the shoe and create this loop, which I call the rabbit's ears. Let's do the same on the other side. another rabbit ear and the two laces going in towards the center of the shoe. So now let's take that lace all the way to the other side and go through one rabbit's ear and that other lace goes through the opposite rabbit's ear and there we go we have the runner's knot. Let's have a look at it on my foot. Okay, so let, let me show you the two shoes. Uh, one without the runner's knot and one with the runner's knot. First of all, the one without, if I push down on the heel, you can see, and even probably here, a bit of slippage, okay. which potentially makes the foot a little unstable in the shoe when you're running. Now the one the shoe with the runner's knot, you can see if I push down, no slippage, nice and firm around the heel, keeping my foot nice and stable on the shoe. And by the way, uh, with the end of the laces, instead of doing a double knot, uh, an alternative, which I find quite a good thing, you can see how it's hard to get the double knot. Um, instead of doing a double knot, Put the end of the loops down the bottom of the eyelet chain and just pull up. And there you go, nice and easy to undo. Uh, runner's knot and the end of the loops down the bottom there. Give it a go, see how you like it.